Just in case, you're wondering what I'm doing, Keir Starmer. I'm hugging a tree. Well, Richie Sunak. Well, he had a fish. He had a loaf of bread. And he fed the people. Well, that's a heavy dose of irony, you could say. Well, he had a speech. Yeah, he had a speech. So did Keir Starmer, to be fair. Do you hear this, darling? Oh, better catch up with the dear missus. Oh, catch up with me. Oh, oh, here we go. Did you hear, did you hear about Richie Sunak? Did? Yes. Did you hear about his beautiful speech? I think he's found God. He's he, he, he found God? Yeah. Oh, OK. Did, but, 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 do you think he really has found God? No, I think he's just using it. He's just using it. Do you think there's a bit of irony here? Because I, I can't, I see it feels a bit ironic what he said. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read to you what Richie Sunak, uh, well, decided was a good idea. <laughs> oh, crikey. Uh, uh, I think it was the NHS conference. Yeah, the NHS... Oh, yes. OK. Pen. So NHS staff, royals and politicians from across the spectrum hail the NHS, they did. Yeah. At Westminster Abbey ceremony, marking the health service's 75th birthday. Ain't that lovely? Oh, look, there's people on bikes. I reckon they've been to free camping. And, and some got sheep. Roll out mats. And we've got some sheep all. Uh, look at the sheep all. Oh, look, all those sheep all everywhere they are. I wonder if they voted for Brexit. Probably. Maybe. What do you reckon, Madame? Do you think they voted for Brexit? Well, sheep, usually I'll ask follow, them. Like sheep usually follow each other, don't they? They do. They do. I'm just going to ask them, actually, if they vote for Brexit. Bah! Little lambs. Bah! Some of, some of them are lambs. Yeah, maybe. They did. Yeah. Sheep. Well, anyway. I want to share to you what, <laughs> what Richie Sudak said. I mean, wait for This is just nuts. Well, something else is... Ah, uh, no. Got a motorbike over there. Ooh. Ooh, it's a Yamaha. Well, Anyway, well, I haven't yeah. got anything. I ain't got anything about religion, but um, you haven't got anything I, against religion. No, I haven't got anything against uh, religion. But he didn't use it in the right. Um, I would say I'm a bit of a tree hugger. Would he, you say I'm a tree hugger? Probably. Yeah. But he hasn't used it in the right place. Am I a godly person? No. No. <laughs> but your daughter is very. Oh, she is. Yeah, oh, crikey. Yeah. Well, she's um, her other half is Nigerian and they're very, very religious. Very religious. Brainwashed. You can say. Oh, did I say it loud? I do apologise. Oh, sorry. What about you, Caroline? Am I religious? I do believe. I believe! I believe! Oh, my giddy aunt. Well, don't marry. Well, anyway, <laughs> so Prime Minister Richie Sunak <laughs> and Labour leader Keir Starmer, well, they gave a, well, a Bible reading. Yeah. It's like... A verse, I think it's called. <laughs> I think it's called a verse. <laughs> a verse. OK, it was a verse, was it? OK. It shows how much I know. But I've got to share it with you, nevertheless. Is it Aren't a, a, you, darling? Matthew what? Yeah, it's one of the Matthew verses, apparently. Do you know which I'll one? I'll get to it in a minute. Yeah, chapter 25. Matthew yeah. 25. The PM's reading was from Matthew, chapter 25, which includes a passage... I was hungry. Well... <laughs> should, should, should we do that? Should we do, okay, okay. Can we do it? Oh, you can't see it, can you? No, no, so, you do okay, it. Okay, I'll do it then. You do it. Oh, I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. Did Aww. you know that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. Oh. I was a stranger and you invited me in. Oh my giddy up. I think everyone should go and knock Stop at his the door. Bounce. Stop the bounce. <laughs> I think everyone should go and knock at his door. Yeah. <laughs> I needed cloves and you clothed me. I'm beginning to wonder, did the uh, <laughs> did the church choose this verse for him? And they thought it'd be funny. Okay, I think so. It was <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, with his little short trousers, yeah, uh, and his big boots. <laughs> oh, I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came visit me. I needed to, well, get from the, uh, well, from the south to the north, and you gave me a helicopter, or something like that. Yeah, anyway. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, <laughs> when did you see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? <laughs> when did we see you a stranger and invite you in? As a pig. Or needing clothes? And clove you. What's this? What's that, what's that done? What do you to that? Are you, Are you impressed? No, yeah, I am impressed. That's a pity he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't um, follow what he's saying with the. I think the I think phrase is uh, practice what you preach. Is that yeah. right? Do you think? Yeah. And I need to change arms. My arm's dropping off. Oh, that's better. 
He's not very compassionate with the... Um, not very... He's not compassionate <laughs> at all. No. He gives a diddly squat about anyone about himself. I don't think he's ever known what it's like to struggle or go without food or drink or clothing. Well, this Mummy and Daddy have got um, pharmacies, which are probably all going to go bankrupt to anyway. But Mummy and Daddy have got pharmacies, and um, that's how they made their money, through pharmacies. Yeah, from the NHS, which they destroyed. Lovely, did, isn't it? Did you say, did you say Keir Starmer? made one uh, yeah he did but that's, that's just a bit it's um it's more about giving and then than taking oh right if you so, know what i mean so his was more appropriate uh, uh, it, yeah i'm not gonna read it because it's a bit no, boring don't, it's boring, but he's boring. his was more appropriate I, i'm not well, although i'm probably gonna be voting labor i, I just i don't buy into Keir Starmer. Oh. sorry you know well, what? i don't think we have a choice uh, well we don't have a choice that's the problem we don't really have a choice but it's um even david uh crikey lammy the other day Oh, go on about the flipping confetti. We've got the flipping work. Look at this place at the moment. Look at this flipping boy and the sweat is pouring off me. You know, we just had the hottest days in um, the UK ever recorded. Yep. The first one was Monday, the second one was Tuesday. They're the hottest days recorded. Yep. Yep. So, you know, our faces are going to be burning off. So we will be walking around like on face off, you know, and um, we'll be, uh, for, uh, facial recognition, forget that, you won't have one. And I'm all worrying about some woman throwing orange confetti over a man who, for his austerity, has probably killed 30,000 people. And that, and that is growing. Well, confetti's nice sort of way to do it. I thought it was quite sweet of her. I thought she was celebrating. Oh, okay. She was even, she was even dressed. So what? She was even dressed for the occasion. Yeah, and, and, and did you see her little bag as well with the confetti in it? Yeah. It had a union jack on it. It had the butcher's apron on it. See that? She was all being patriotic, she was, with her orange confetti. Well, it's probably not what she meant, but I'm just saying, look, I can't see what Lafosse is about. It's, it, it's obfuscation. It's kind of like... Uh, if, they, if, they just stabbed, if they just stabbed someone or threw oil over someone or something like that, then I can well, understand. That's a bit but, extreme. Yeah, well... <laughs> uh, uh, All right, uh, climate activists more. don't go around stabbing people. Yeah, but they might have <laughs> thrown something different <laughs> over them. They could, have, they could have thrown eggs at them and not they confetti. Could have, they could have glued them to the altar. <laughs> they could have thrown eggs at them. <laughs> they or, know, they or tomatoes. They could have done. They could have put them in, could have, could have put them in stocks. <laughs> well, I'm just but there saying, wasn't even stop one anyway. This was an saying, indi- but Caroline, they, you're missing the point here because it's actually an independent protest. It's just like you, who isn't affiliated to anybody whatsoever, and you decide that you're going to throw orange confetti over George Osborne and his missus. Well, now missus. Yeah, how, did she get, how did she get there? They didn't have they all, any security. Didn't know what, they didn't look like they even bothered them at the time. They think, oh, it's just confetti. They obviously didn't have any security, because <laughs> how did security. she get there? No, they, well, there was security. Mm-hmm. It was the security guard that kind of... Um, Let her in. ...separated the woman. But she was sort of... Oh, that, that was a friendly protest. And I, I'm, don't get me wrong, I don't think it caused, caused George Osborne or his missus any sort of like real distress. That's just silly. But the point being, Caroline, is that uh, it's all very well going on about George Osborne and the orange confetti when the world is you burning. Mean, you mean that... We're going to go under a tree because it's cooler. You mean, got a tree. you mean that... Um, yeah. Why are we even thinking... Why are what we, are we even... About? Why is that even making the news when there's well, a lot more important things? Do you know why, darling? Because it's a cover-up. It's a cover-up. It's a dead cat. Because It's a no dead, dead cat. It's been delivered That's by the media, so the media That's can push their own oh, narrative. Some from what we can say, like... But, um... To, we'll and, we'll, and, and we'll ignore... Yeah. We'll ignore the um, um, important things and just, um... Report the stupid well, it's things. Well, to get the public irate about something that they shouldn't really be irate about. And what we should be irate about and talking about I'm all the time is the fact you get okay, sandy feet. Is it because you're, 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 you're walking over molehills? That's, yeah, I've got That's s- not sand. I've got well, sand, sand in there. On. I've grit in it. I think we're nearly where we go. I think we are because we've already done this. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting tangled up now. Should we turn around? Yeah, we've already been up here. Once. There, come on. Chasing after more Wally. Well, she oh, chased after Wally in one direction. I had to run over. Oh, that direction you did. Then I had to shut. Then he decided to go the other direction. I chased him one. And you end up in the river. Yeah. Bear, Dora, the river, come on. You did for a swim. That you did. So anyway, it's just about, um, it's dead cats again, isn't it? It's about distracting away from what's really important. Why? I didn't. The government always doing it and the media does it. Come here. And now we've got Keir Starmer having like these meetings with flipping Keith Rupert Murdoch. Flipping now, when's that bloke going to die? I'm sorry. I'm just looking forward to it. <laughs> was anyone dead but that bloke? My giddy aunt. Oh. I have got a deep hatred where to keep do you, where, do you actually, where do you Murdoch. actually go? Where do you actually go to get the real news? 
Well, you just got to flip and fact check every flip and thing. That's a nightmare. You have to Google everything and put different oh, searches well, in to find it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Because sometimes you just look at the news and it's like stupid well, it's stuff. Bait. And very clip. Very, How many very times? Carolyn does a little bit of researching for me, don't you, darling? Yeah. But oh, instead of it slipping over, I said, "Oh, well, can I see this?" And what have you looked at? And she looked at the title, maybe the first couple of. Um, Oh, sentences, and it looks all very shocking and appropriate for this channel. And when you look at the detail of it, it's just so. Okay. I just got. I, I hate clickbait. Oh. I really do hate kick, clickbait. I mean, you like and all the all the YouTube channels that do clickbait seem to have yeah. loads of things. I mean, you and, you and <laughs> Wayne, Wayne told me. One you and Wayne told me there's not many channel. There's not many news. The problem with a lot of these to read news. Yeah, news to they're written by people, Caroline. Yeah. All right. And people being people, they have an opinion. So what's the best so, one to read? So, well... Guardian? Oh, no, I think you've got to read them all. Yeah. I think you've got to read them all, whether it's The Sun, The Daily Express, The Daily Mail... Mirror, think, we find a lot of mirror. Uh, mirror and so... Yeah, all of them, because then you get uh, a sort of balanced view. You know, obviously we like things like uh, New European, I like the, uh, the good articles in there. Yep. You've got Byline Times, they've got good articles. Polish, Polish. Guardian I even like, but even Guardian's not perfect, you know, they're quite, quite often there. Their opinion, you know, the opinion one is. The opinion one's very good. The yeah. quite uh, good. Guardian Opinions. Yeah, Guardian um, Opinion, that's, that's quite good. The Independent, that's full of flipping advertising. Oh, well, that's so not good, the Independent the others, to be fair. Isn't. Even the BBC, he's got those advertising. Oh, Joe! Look, it's a scooter! <laughs> Oh look! Oh, because they're, they're, they're not banned. They're not banned here. You know what? Yeah. They could have knocked us off and ki over and killed us. They're not banned. With a deadly scooter. They're not banned. You, you know just look out. Let's stand here for a sec, and we just need to watch for a while. Let's see if he blows up. It's a lithium battery. No. 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 And it's perfectly not, they're fine. They're not banned here. They're no, not banned here. No. You can ride them on the roads here. Even. No, not the roads, is it? Or is it the paths or roads? You ride them on the paths. You can go on the path or yeah. tracks. You obviously got to be sensible. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't get stopped on our little roads. We hardly have any cars. No. They wouldn't have a problem with that. It's they mustn't go on the main roads. I, I don't want one because I look top heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little thing, tiny wheels. This fat body rambling along, all 90 odd kilos of it. What are you writing down? Look, there's reeds. Yeah. No. yeah. We'll go past our sheep in a minute. Oh, you've got a tummy out again, darling. Oh, oh dear. Got new antibiotics now, haven't you, Dom? Yeah, for tonight. Yeah, you've got to take them today. You could took no. No, it says tonight. It says tonight. That says oh, you need to take them in the evening. The that says take them in the evening. Oh, okay. It's only three times a week. Did, so did, it, did it come with the applicator? So like, they're like no, horse it's pills. It's soluble. No, no, it was like a giant horse pill. It was. It's it like a rugby ball. It's soluble. And I've got this applicator, and no, you have to it grease it all up. It's soluble. Like force it. You put them in. You sort of. And then you have to look. Yeah, push. Yeah, I, I can't really explain that. Oh, blinking, it's blinking, awful. Aw blinking awkward though because oh, of course it is. It's a pill dispenser. Well, they're that times. big. But there's only three times. A That's week. like they're like rugby balls. It's only three times a week. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a reminder on my phone. Well, it's, it's a good job. It's only three times a week. You'd be sore. <laughs> <laughs> she just slapped me. Did you see, it's a boost. Come on. You just, you just slapped me, darling. It's soluble powder. It's soluble. Oh, it's, a pa it's like a rugby ball has been ground down. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I've been silly now. So, um, oh, crikey. It, I wonder if J Justin Welby's going to have anything to say. The uh, Archbishop of, of Canterbury. Whatever, is it the Yeah, Canterbury. Sometimes he's in the Lords, isn't he? Um, I wonder if he's going to have anything to say about it. About the uh, Richie Sunak's verse. Using the Bible. I'm sure, I reckon they must have picked that for him, and somebody thought that was hilarious. They must have done. That's probably. <laughs> it was at Westminster. I tell you what. It, no, I tell you, it's Whitehall. Somebody in Whitehall chose the. Oh, I, I've got a really great one for you, Richie. He probably didn't even read it and just read it straight off. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. The irony in it, though. Go on about. Um, I was hungry. <laughs> like strangers and stuff. I was hungry. You gave me food. <laughs> When has he ever been hungry? Oh my god, he's what's you know, oh. well, it's dinner time, I'm hungry. Well, he's making a huge amount of money off the back of uh, all, you know, off the taxpayer, isn't he? I was yeah. thirsty and you gave me drink. Thirsty, you gave me drink. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Dan, do you reckon that's it for that one? I think it probably oh, is. I reckon it is too. We're going to do a little bit of shopping. We're gonna, the sales are on. Yeah, and, sales and, are on in France. And my... And they're good sales as well, aren't they, And my... And my, lights better, yeah, and my son, who I look after, his little girl, who's three... They treated you, didn't they? He's gave me a 30 euro voucher to spend. Oh. So, that's very nice of them. Yeah, where's mine? I don't know, I suppose you should get one, really. But. Yeah. 
I'm going to ignore the little brat from now on then. When we're not having her anymore. She's gone to school. I'll go to school, okay. Well, we have got them in the <laughs> summer holiday a little bit, but after that... Oh, we've got, we got more little... Oh, they're little and they'll coming. be on live stream, they can. Yeah, they can be on they're allowed. Yeah, they're allowed. Yeah. Got four little ones. Well, the baby might be a bit too young. Yeah, can. Yeah. Not, not be conversational. No. I'll tell you who would be good, though. Grace. I think that, uh, my little Grace, I tell you, she is one bright little th- little ass, isn't little, she? I think the three little ones will all be very good. <laughs> oh yeah, but you know, I'm talking about being. She is clever. N- N- little Grace is really clever. I think Nena's got. A- She's two years ahead. Two years. I think. Uh, yeah, it's got my brains. You see? I think Nen- Listen the, to me. You I know? think the three-year-old Nena's <laughs> got character. I mean, Yasmin had her on a, um, you know, the little things you put around the wrist. Yeah. So they don't run away. They was going around like town, them. and she was every time she went past someone, she was going, "Help me, please!" <laughs> <laughs> and what happened, Nana, the other day when when uh, Yasmin told her that? Um, <laughs> oh, we just booked a flight to go and see Nana. Oh, she went to pack a case. She went to go and pack a case. Mine just always. How, Grace, old, how old is she? Three. <laughs> Grace is packing hers as well. Oh, she's... Grace packing hers as well. Mm. Okay. Oh God. God, but I was really impressed with Grace. It's only nine Grace. days, though. When we had Grace over last time and that, and mm. I was helping with her homework, and she's doing a flipping hell. She's doing stuff that I'd struggle with. You're not allowed to help her anymore. Aren't I? No. Oh, probably a good thing, actually. She has to do it herself. She's got to do it all herself? Yeah. On the Kumon? Yeah. She's independent. Yeah. So this is, the, this is the thing, you see, this is where, if you go thinking about... Actually, this is a good valid point, actually. It's Keir Starmer going on about Oracy. Have we got more? Where's Sebastian? Where's Sebastian gone? He's not one to wander off. Oh, I can see him. He is wandered off, he's there. Oh, he's over there, it's the sheep. Oh, yeah. But yeah, anyway, what the RSC Caroline? Let's, yes. let's just, yeah, before we sign off, because we're going back to the car anyway, yeah. I'll have to walk this way though, because uh, the sun. The, the, you know, the sun's that can way. I just shout bear? Bear! Oh, he's all right. He's, he's not going to do anything. Of course, Sebastian's never going to run off. He's a good little lad. But anyway, what I was saying about RSC and Keir Starmer. So Keir Starmer wants to focus on RSC in the schools, and um, which is, I think is actually a good idea. Yeah. And I think that would help. I was talking about live stream last night, actually. I think it would have helped us. And you just, yeah, because you're talking... Uh, my my um, conversation skills are not very good. You've got plenty to say, but you, you struggle getting it out sometimes. Um, but you, you... Sometimes it's in my head, but I actually can't get it out. Yeah, I can't I find the right like words to say. Yeah. I know what I want to say. But and you, sometimes it's really hard to walk fast. You walk fast and I'm walking backwards. Back there. I'm <laughs> for, and don't walk into Dora. Well, this is really hard. I'm backwards there. And pronunciation, sometimes I get in a muzzle with. Well, I do. We all do, darling, um, sometimes. I mean, I, do some t- I know sometimes it's me. I'm just quick at everything and I probably don't think. But, um... Uh, actually, that's, that's what you've, you've talked, um, so Caroline uh, speaks before you engage your brain, don't you? Yeah, yeah. probably. But then can I do that? Um, I think, I think, also, I believe that I've had a hearing problem all my life, so maybe well, that's some of it you've definitely got well. one now, haven't you? Yeah. What? <laughs> Well, you are. You were shocked that I couldn't hear the crickets. The crickets. The crickets. <laughs> you said crickets. Oh, it's crickets. <laughs> or the birds. You are funny, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Well, yeah. you like taking the mickeys. So I do. I do. Well, I do. Well, I so. not take everybody. Yeah. Oh, big, big. see the sheep. The sheeple. Uh, yeah. Anyway, or I'll see. Come on, come on, just, he's only there. He's right. I oh, know. I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, no, but keep walking because I'm. Tummy. Oh, we've got a t- uh, tummy. Oh, okay. Well, um. Oh, Keir Stam wants to do Oracy. I think it would have helped us. That would have done. I've, I've missed the point now. I've got, I've got, I'm off track now. Well, you say that you, you think it's a good idea, and I think it's a good idea. I worked in school for quite a number of years, and I think that is a really good idea. And that would help children and adults a considerable but I, I, I think the... And he's not talking about talking, speaking posh or anything like that. He's just talking about... Clearly understood. Clearly being clearly understood. Yeah. So... If these sheep, these sheep over here, had oracy lessons, they wouldn't be going around going bah! and following each other. And following each other like sheep or Brexiters. And maybe, oh. maybe also, if people had had the skills to speak, then more people would no, say. Right. Can, can you just touch that for me, just over No. Please, just touch that, please. You, you show me how to do it. What? T- <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> oh dear electric but no i think he's i think he's spot on there 
I think he is on that one. I, I, I agree. But well, I think most teachers I, would agree. I, with I, I also think it needs to be elaborated on what he actually means by that. Well, I think some is people just keep taking out a conception. A con uh, context. context. Um, the only thing is, though, is that if it is what he means, as in the sense of uh, just, you know, walking around with a book on the head. No, I don't know, think like he does. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Been eloquent. <laughs> eloquent, 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 elocution, elocution lessons. Is that the, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that'd be oh. a mistake, but I think it's about being clearly understood and being able to express yourself. Because these days, people are so much do so much on the tablets and the phones and stuff like that, emojis and stuff like that. Years ago, people would just be like SMS messages. Now, cold. There's no expression in them. I, mean, I think it's about being understood and getting I mean, your point across, even if you're articulate. You know. Using I mean, your hands and expression. I mean, when, you know, when, we, were, you know when I mean. we were growing up, that was either write a letter or phone somebody who go around the house. That was no... We had semaphores. Yeah. Telegrams, when we were growing up. Yeah. And we had yoghurt pots with bits of string. Um, like our parents, when they were growing up, there was no telephone. So it was either just you see people personally or you write letters. Yeah. Cool a bit, God forbid. Craggy paper. Always poor trees. Um, I was, I'll tell you what, I was really impressed with my little granddaughter's handwriting in France. She's six years old and she bought a little book home. Um, home do they with do handwriting, handwriting in, in. in UK schools? So. I suppose to, but oh. I don't know whether Grace don't do it yet. But really? That was, yeah, you no. start that at the beginning? I know. But that, I know they don't usually start that until seven. You don't start handwriting France, until seven? No, not handwriting in like that. But, but, um, in France, they start up from four or five, and she's doing all the little... Oh, your serifs and stuff. Yeah, that's really, really, really lovely. Oh, like silhouette. Anyway, it's time for us to go. Yep. Uh, we're back in the car, you know. Au revoir, yeah. goodbye. Have a nice day. Oh, Uncle ain't put, that lovely? I'm going to put the doggies in the you car. Put the dog, I'm just going to show them the, the river. Anyway, if you've got a channel, you can do it on Patreon or buy us a coffee. And the links are down below, and it's very much appreciated. It allows us to feed our dogs, you see. Because I starve our boys, yeah. Medication as well, it costs 120 quid a month. Do you want any water, anyone? Is there any water left? <laughs> beer. Any water? He's a good boy. He said, I've had enough of this, I'm not going there. Get you some That's what he's saying. Let's get some water. Warm day. We have quite good here though, because they're, all these car parks are popping up with um, shelter. Why, man? Oh, with solar panels. We need some water. It keeps the area, um, keeps the cars cool. Wait, wait! That's brilliant. You know, that's a good plan. I'll get like you some Mac water first. And that's why we parked in the retreat. Wally, this way. <laughs> anyway, this Wally, is um, a river. Come yeah, I can't remember what's called there. What river is this, darling? It's the Gore, isn't it? Is it the Gore? No, it's not the Gore. No, it's not the Gore. It's the... Wally, drop some water. Uh, Venn. Yeah, it's the Venn River. And we're actually in Axe of the end, so yeah. Do you need any water, on Wally? The, on the Venn. On the river. Rivia. Oh, there's wooden bits. Now, we were very annoyed with the fishermen Come when we came then. here. Yeah. In the car. We, me and Mrs. have been clearing up the fishing line. Which isn't very good, is it? It's not good for the animals, so we cleared it up. In? Put it in the bin. Come on, just take this off. It's a lovely spot, though. It really is. And there's weirs up that way, such as, you know, mill ponds and stuff. And the same up the other end as well, there's weirs. And uh, brilliant in that sort of the end, they've got a bit where it goes off a tangent, but you go kayaking. And it's like you know, white water stuff, it's brilliant, great fun. I oh, love it, I do. I'm fine stuff, <laughs> nurse, you see. Yeah. And the problem is, I'm fatter now. So Come on! I've got my old uh, spray deck on. I'm starting to look like a duck. And oh, getting in that, uh, like that, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go, aren't we, darling? Yeah. Anyway, okay, so it's Patreon, buys a coffee, got memberships as well. And also, we're planting trees, you know. Them, them things, yeah, planting trees, not here, but our, on our land. We've got two hectares of land, we're planting a thousand trees on. And we'll plant that, the good family link down below, and uh, we'll put a plant tree on your, yeah, on your behalf. But also, I will make a sign to go with the tree. Yeah, cool. And it will. Oh, okay. So, there it goes. You say that, don't I? Ta-ta. <laughs>